Hello guys and welcome back to Stranded Deep. My name is Rakuna. Dexter has been a busy Nelly. Dexter has expanded the raft on both sides so we'd have a little bit more moving room. Dexter has made a lot of water bottles. He plans on filling them all up before leaving. This way he doesn't have to struggle to get his freaking water. Dexter finally thought it was a good time to try and organize his stuff. Everything has a box except for that little box there that has nothing in this one either. I mean we got some empty shelves here but uh, i'm pretty sure we'll have to you know the time to fill them up ah look at the bats hey guys how you doing just leave me alone i'm gonna go home <laughs> I'm, I'm scared so dexter never thought of looking at the cartography table at the menu if you see here this is where we are and see those little islands with the skulls well not islands i mean it's just basically in water these are where we need to go to go to some sort of boss fights so we are here and i want to go there and that's what we're going to do today we're going to start by going there and then we're going to go there we got it that's why we need a compass that's what we're going to do right now now dexter is going to start by skinning this giant grouper fish or maybe she should just rely on the canned food he has for now and that will be my lunch uh, at, the, at the return as a celebratory thing now let's fill up these bottles as much as we can okay i mean we, we're they're not all full some of them has one for serving two of them have five serving this one is three you know what it's enough we're gonna go uh, i got the compass already on the boat i've got my harpoon launcher in all of my freaking equipment i made myself some arrows we are ready for a freaking fight so let's go now, first of all we're gonna grab the compass and finally figure out where the freaking hell we gotta go now we gotta head south west which is basically that way so let's get a move on all right this time i've practiced with the boat i don't know how this little cell is able to push that boat and uh, apparently wind is not taking into consideration i just go wherever the freaking hell i want to go this doesn't even count it just it's it's a boat move forward function and that's all it is dexter is headed southwest he's headed in the right direction good on you dexter Dexter is feeling a little anxious, but he is prepared. Dexter is ready to kick ass as much as possible. And Dexter doesn't realize how he didn't stumble across this enemy from the beginning. He's been right next to it all along. Really not that far. The night is calm and Dexter is even more worried. He's scared he won't be able to make it back home alive. To make it out alive, Dexter is going to have to pull a rabbit out of his ass. Ooh. Dexter sees a big ship in the distance. Dexter is obviously in the right course. Dexter sees a big fish in the water. But that just looks like a normal shark. I don't think it's anything to be worried about. Dexter sees something over there in the distance and he's gonna head over and see what it is. What the hell is that? There's some red stuff. I think that's fire. What the hell is that all about? Uh, Dexter is slightly concerned. The Meg. Oh, that is great. Uh, sweet. Yeah, okay, Dexter, let's get started. Uh, c can I shoot at it or something? What am I supposed to do? Uh, okay. Was I supposed to just shoot at it to provoke it or something? Okay, I'm going to go turn back. Dexter has obviously done something wrong. Ah, Dexter, when will you ever get it right? Okay, I might just take out the bow and freaking poke at it. See what happens. Um, drop anchor. Yeah, I'll drop anchor. Let's see what that does. Yeah, okay, the whole Meg title. I've seen it before. Could you please remove it so I can freaking aim properly? Is that a Meg? That doesn't even look like a bigger shark than the other ones I faced. Okay, I've uh, fended off the whale that's been eaten alive. Uh, hello, uh, Meg? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Let's take out the big spear gun. Dexter just pooped his pants and it smells awful. Why are you? Uh, am I supposed to go underwater and fight it? If that's the case, Dexter doesn't feel quite comfortable doing so. That is a big fish. Uh, wait, wait, how, how am I supposed to? Okay, I gotta right click to aim. Ah, uh, okay. I, I see you. I see you. You know what? Dexter might have no choice but to go underwater and face the beast. Here we go. Whoa, crap. What the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't see anything. Oh, there it is. There it is. I see you. I see you. I don't see you. Let's go back to the raft. Oh, probably going to die. Come on. Swim faster. Ow, dick. Okay, Dexter 
<laughs> didn't freaking work. Okay, am I supposed to kind of look around and freaking aim for the damn fish? Dexter will take a little something to drink <laughs> so he can top off and freaking heal up a little bit. And yeah, there it is. There it is. Ha ha ha. Gotcha. It is very hard to see because it's still nighttime. Hopefully the sun will come up quite soon and I'll be able to freaking aim at the thing. Where are you? There you are. Burp. Got you again. And another time. Am I gonna have enough ammo for this gun? Probably not. I got my bow and arrow. There you are. Got you again. My God, this is not the challenge I've expected. Oh, missed this time. You pesky little bugger you. <laughs> well, okay, so basically it's just uh, playing target practice. That's all this fight is about. It's not like this fella is going to start growing feet and come out of the water and get onto my raft. It's not going to happen. Uh, alas, the sun is finally rising. Maybe we'll have a better shot at this guy. There you are, you pesky little fish, you. And again. And apparently I am out of ammo for that freaking thing. All right, we'll just have to, you know, riddle it with arrows. Well, apparently arrows hurt more than that freaking thing. Okay, you should have started with that then. Get out of your hiding place, little Meg. It's you and me now. <laughs> Where are you running off to? Well, next battle like this I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I prepare a lot more freaking arrows and harpoons so I could totally destroy them a lot easier. Hey, you. I will brutally murderize you. Come over here. Stop running. Stop going under my boat. Well, actually, there's no way you're going to go over it. Doesn't make sense much. You're just a big shark. You're not that impressive. I'm not scared of you. Dexter has been worried for nothing. This is the easiest battle ever. I will cook you up and make some nice filet. Maybe some fish and chips. I don't know. Kind of thinking about it. My mouth is salivating. Uh, did I kill you you still have a little sliver of life there uh <laughs> objective complete reward one trophy and one aircraft rudder part hey that is interesting oh uh, where i i wanted to feed on your flesh dexter is a little disappointed dexter is gonna go in water and gonna go check out that whale see what that is all about can i have some you got caught in a net poor little guy uh can i take a piece of meat i mean with you here i would never go hungry again uh Apparently not. This is gross. This is gruesome. This is disgusting. I'm gonna puke on a dead whale. Bleh. No. Okay, I think it's time to get out of here. I don't know where the hell that reward went to. I don't know what happened. I think I've unlocked a recipe or something. A trophy, right? What? I can, I can make a trophy? What? Oh, I got a nice little trophy I can pretty much put somewhere. I'll put it back home whenever I get the chance. In the meantime, I guess I'll just put it in one of these uh, containers there. You trophy, go inside that little box. I'm sure you're bigger than the box, but somehow you magically fit inside. So this will let me uh, craft the air rudder part. I guess I just have to press it and I'll be able to actually kind of build it automatically. Now we're going to be heading over to that boat. I want to see what the hell is on that big boat over there. So anchor. Yeah, come back in. We're going to turn around and uh, try to avoid that poor little dead whale. Aw, poor little guy. You know what? I was expecting the Meg. Yeah, that big shark from the movie with Jason Statham. But apparently I was uh, I was just facing the little baby Meg or something like that. They survive 21. Well, I feel like we're making a lot of progress. Or should I say, Dexter feels that. So we're going to go explore that boat. And then you can see on the map here, if we head northwest, we're going to head over to another one of these bosses. Uh, probably another sort of sea creature or something like that. Uh, but for that, we'll just need to build ourselves some more ammunition, some more arrows and some more harpoons that we can use and freaking brutally kill them. I hope the next boss will be slightly more challenging than that big fish. I stupidly went underwater thinking that's how we fight them, but apparently I could just stay above and target practice. That's all it was, target practice. So Dexter is going to put away his spear gun. I don't think he's going to need it, nor the light for now. Dexter is going to get ready to go board that boat. Maybe we'll need an axe or something. I don't know. Dexter is slightly hungry. He might bring himself a little bit of ration just in case he gets the nibbles. Okay, I think we're close enough. Drop the anchor and let's 
bored. Dexter has never been on a ghost ship before. Dexter hopes it's not a ghost ship and just a normal ship like that that's been abandoned on an island. I don't know how it got up here. Probably the high tide. Oh, there's some driftwood. We got to actually collect that a little later uh, to be able to make some more weaponry. And we got some crates lying about. First of all, let's just go in. Let's see what's what. Ooh. It's like all of these underwater boats that I've been visiting and uh, finding all sorts of stuff inside, except this one is slightly bigger. Uh, slightly, I guess it's got a couple of floors. At least it's not underwater, causing Dexter all sorts of pain. Okay, how many flights of stairs is this? Dexter is getting a little tired. Mm, so we got a big door over here. Ooh. Ooh. Dexter found a plane. Dexter is happy. Dexter giggles like a little girl. Dexter has new objectives. Okay, uh, how many food do I need? I guess I, I need to stick some food in there. Stock food. Oh, I am gonna need a buttload of food. Okay, uh, gyrocopter part, pick up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! We're gonna be able to you know, get a lot of water. Yeah, how much water are we gonna need? Stock water really well i'm gonna keep a little water for myself if you don't mind dear water stock containers in the meantime we're just gonna be looking around and see what needs repairs how the hell do we repair anything i guess we gotta go up there oh, conveniently we have uh, stairs here i didn't check that okay fuel uh, i suppose we're gonna need a whole bunch rudder pedal isn't that the thing that i can build already uh, rudder parts there you go and uh fix boom we got one of the objectives done. Now, I expect that the other uh, creatures we're going to kill are going to give us the other repair parts for the you know, for the big plane in which we're going to be able to escape. Alas, our objective is upon us, and we will finally find a way to escape this godforsaken place. All right. All right. Uh, that's all good. We're going to be able to work on making ourselves a gyrocopter. This is going to let us move around the island a lot faster. We got all the parts at home. This is insane. We're going to be able to fly in style. Dexter is going back down. Dexter is super excited about this. Dexter is going to have to find potatoes to actually be able to make some fuel. And we got a couple of stuff inside of this wooden container. Let's just not keep it in. Uh, yep. Change. Okay. Are those fish just swimming in the sand? Is the water going that high? Yeah, maybe. Okay, whatever. Dexter has found his next foe. Get over here. <laughs> Will you stop snipping at me, jerk? There you go. There you go. Annoying creep. Okay, so let's pick up some stuff over on this island. I don't know if I'm going to need all of this corrugated scrap metal. This wood, I will. Okay, another wooden container. Let's just grab that little puppy. Okay, our, all our things are looking okay. I still got a lot of life, and this freaking uh, crab is nothing but a slight nuisance. Let's pick at it. Come on, I've met your cheater brothers. They all died on my hands. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Such violence. Such violence, the cruelty. Dexter, you have become a monster. Oh, alas, the cruel world has transformed me. How will I ever face my family and tell them what I've done? Dexter is just going to make a small tour to the boat there because he's uh, pretty much full. He's got a couple of crates in him, picked up a lot of corrugated metal, uh, which maybe will give me the chance to expand the boat a little bit. I wanted to expand the front of it at least one shot as well. One more row up here, so I'm going to have like totally complete free movement on my boat. Now it's just going to be to bring all of this home and after that kind of sort everything out. Ugh, the horrors. Let's put these gyrocopters away. We're going to have fun with that. Well, Dexter found some barrels. How sweet of that. Now the only thing is Dexter did not find any rope or did not think to bring any on this trip. He didn't think it was going to be that important. He could have used those barrels to make it a little bit more room on the raft up front as he was just slowly speaking about just before but instead he's gonna come here and murderize this giant crab at uh, poke poke slightly there you go now dexter has killed a couple of these crabs there he's feeling quite happy about it that's more free meat so apparently that is pretty much all there is to this uh the boat i could only get to the back part of it i don't 
think there was a way in uh, to the rest of the insides. So Dexter is just going to move along. Now, looking at the cartography table, we should start heading northwest, stopping by the islands to make myself a little bit more ammunition. Dexter could cut the driftwood that there was over there, but there are plenty of trees on the other islands he's going to come across. And that'll be a lot more efficient to gathering wood. Now Dexter is going to start heading northwest. So let's get the the anchor up and let's get a move on. We're going to have to go around this boat. Uh, apparently I'm caught on something. What the freaking hell is happening? Is that the wind being a jerk? I thought there wasn't any wind. Maybe it's a storm. Or you know what? Let's just go. Let's move it. Uh, hello, flying sardine. I hope you're having a nice day. The waves are very violent here. I don't know what's going on with the raft. Can you please just go? Right? Dude, seriously. Raft, get a move on. Oh my god, Dexter is getting caught in everything for crying out loud. Put that freaking shelf back. I didn't tell you to pick that up. All right, let's push the boat in the right direction. This is completely redonkulous. Dexter is heading northwest. There are big waves and the storm is extremely violent. But luckily, this lightning never hits the raft. And I can count my blessings because this thing is mostly made of metal. I would fry instantly. That would be game over, man game over okay i believe we've made it there let's drop the anchor let's uh, let go of that freaking rudder and we can go and explore this little island now i expect dangers lots of dangers first of all let's put away our compass uh food and water is looking dire i think it's time to munch i got my rations here let's eat up i'll have to care of the food and the water i didn't know those things would fill the water as well well you know what i am happy first of all dexter is gonna take care of the wildlife here and probably gonna cook himself a little bit of the meat while he's kind of busy on this island getting some wood and making uh, himself some more ammunition so in the meantime i'm just gonna you know take you move you no what no okay it's because i gotta freaking change items okay get over here big crab meat go over there yeah stay there that's a good crab meat. Now, there are some rocks here that I'm going to be able to mine and actually get to make some more arrows with. There's two, so that is pretty good. And with all the wood here, I should be able to make myself uh, quite a fair amount. Now, for the harpoons, though, we need to have rope. And I, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of rope to be had in here. It's going to be a little bit of work to uh, gather all that I need. Uh, right now, it's dark as hell, so we can't see diddly squat. Okay, do we have a container inside of this thing, right? maybe usually they, there is one no all right let's let's head back so it would be also nice if i could make a water collector here try to fill up my water since i decided to put so much inside of the freaking boat over there maybe i should have kept that for another freaking time but alas i have no regrets now we have uh, do we have any ships okay there's one over there let's go see what we can find underground now first of all i'm gonna grab myself a little bit of light since uh, we won't be able to see otherwise okay great okay so we got ourselves a container here let's just uh grab it it's got gasoline in it so that's a pretty good thing that we're gonna need to fill up the plane with okay so we got another beautiful boat we got some tires over here we're gonna be able to do our ah! no 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 get away shoot yeah let's shoot a shark of course that always works Okay, can we find anything inside of this boat? We got some more barrels over here. We got a door, uh, more crates. <laughs> we always get more crates, right? Uh, more parts, this just swell, this works, <laughs> I'll take it. And over here, we got absolutely nothing on the front of the ship. So I've got something to work with so far. I managed to get myself a little bit of, uh, you know, containers. Maybe one of them has some cloth in it, in which I'll be able to do a water collector. Well, speak of the devil, I was just talking about you. Okay, let's attach these uh, wood containers in here. Now this one has gasoline stuff. This is one has rope and stuff. Actually, I'm gonna take this rope. I'm gonna need that. And apparently there is another crab that is not too uh, happy about what I did to its family. Uh, sorry about that little crab, it was nothing personal, but uh, I just enjoy killing you so much. You go over there, crab. Go with your brother. 
Yeah, that's it. The crab tossing contest. So I'm going to start chopping some trees, uh, getting some palm fronds and, uh, you know, doing the whole freaking thing as we usually do. I'm going to kill everything on this freaking island. Just chop it all down, collect the resources and set up like a little temporary uh, base, like a, pretty much like I've done on the other islands. Uh, there's there's a, a fruit. I'll take that. Actually, I'll munch on that right now. Everything is looking good so far. Dexter is experienced at this. He has attained max level at badassery. Yeah, okay, Dexter is quite satisfied. He cut pretty much everything and left everything on the ground right now. Uh, what Dexter is going to do, he's going to make himself his base, water collectors, uh, make some more ammunition. I'm going to be ready for the next battle, which is going to happen on the next episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and please feel free to like and subscribe. Dexter is quite happy with that. So until next time, take care and stay safe. Rakuna out.